My name is Ollie Sale and I'm a fast bowler for Somerset. Well, I've been, I've been playing cricket from since I was about nine. And then when I was about 16, um, I remember getting an email through. I was actually halfway up a mountain with my dad in Scotland. We were climbing a mountain and got an email through just saying, oh, Somerset want you to come in for a trial on Monday. And I was like, Christ, all right. And yeah, I've been at Somerset ever since. Still managed to get myself to university and they were very supportive about that. So I've had that sort of journey as well, sort of trying to balance education and also making sure that I was doing the right things cricket wise. I think being almost brutally honest, I wasn't ready to play full-time cricket. You know, I was very much quite raw. I was quite a raw sort of cricketer. Um, and I think it was a way of me continuing with plan B. I mean, I'm probably the first person that would say cricket can be a short career and you know I've had countless injuries already but also helped me give myself more time to develop as a cricketer and stay involved with Somerset um, whilst getting an education so it was definitely the right decision for me at the time. Injuries are obviously they're part of the parcel um, I mean, you talk about mental well-being, you do feel like you sort of lose your identity a little bit and like obviously you get different kinds of injuries, some, you know, shorter than others. I've just come off the back of double soldier surgery that's put me out for the whole season. So it becomes a bit of a journey. You know, initially you're kind of like in denial. I see it with other guys. Um, I've seen it throughout this year. So everyone just immediately when you come off like, oh, you, you're all right, like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I'll be, I'll be fine, don't worry about it. And then as that sort of, mental process goes on, you start understanding what's going on and then you're just accepting it and just trying to recover and give yourself the best chance to be, you know, returning to play as soon as possible in the best shape that you can be. But it is strange, yeah, because obviously, you know, your day-to-day -day life is being a cricketer. You're watching everyone else play, but you're, that's taken away from you. You're just, you know, rehab, gym, same sort of on a loop. So it is tough. And, you know, we've obviously got a great um, science and medicine team that will help me through all the physical stuff. Uh, but, I mean, the club in general, we're quite close. So, you know, I've, I'm very comfortable talking to a lot of the um, management about, like, just where I'm at and stuff. And they've, they've been very supportive. And we've also got a sports psychologist, um, Chris Bodman, who I've spent a bit of time with as well. And he helps just sort of rationalise things for me because obviously there's times in the season where I'm so frustrated and I just actually a lot of the things are out of my control anyway. Taking taking control of what you can control is probably the best advice. There's a lot of times, well for me anyway, where I'm thinking about things, overthinking things or thinking about things in too much depth and actually you need to just think about things that I can actually impact. So you know if it's performance or you know what's this coach thinking or whatever that's that's something I can't control whereas like you know what can I control it's like how I go about my training um, my preparation you know sleep food like all that kind of thing that's the stuff I can control so make sure I get that right and I just give myself the best chance Cobb just takes pace oh. off that and Ooh. catches the return so I've got we've got a winter now so it's just for me it's about making sure that come next season um, I'm fully fit and raring to go. So I'm uh, yeah, obviously gagging to play some cricket, having missed the whole season now. So yeah, my, I just want to play as much cricket as I can next year, um, enjoy it and uh, get out in front of the crowd and hopefully deliver some wins.